Hi there, fellers. As you can tell by the title of this video, and by what you see in front of you, this video is going to be about glass insulators. Now, I've been collecting uh, glass insulators for quite a while. I don't have many. This is about as most as I have right here. Um, I have a couple more insulators, but they're the porcelain ones. They call them mud insulators because they're made out of clay, and clay is like a mud, so... That's why they call them mud insulators, but they're basically, um, I mean, basically they're made out of porcelain, so that's, uh, they're not really as great. I like the glass ones a lot better, so, uh, focus, move the camera here, make it look better. All right. So, uh, yeah, I know, I got my hat back on again. Woo! All right. So, uh, start off this video, we're gonna move these aside here. I'm gonna start with the smallest one here. Alright, this one here is the very first one that I found. This is the very first insulator, glass insulator I should say, that I found. There's the inside, it's got the threads to it. Um, this one I found up in a spot called Woodland Valley. Um, it was off of the UND Railroad. Um, and the section of where it goes through Woodland Valley along the Asopus Creek there. And this was mainly in a spot where it was covered in uh, coal dust because along the rail beds of a lot of the spots is just mainly coal dust. So uh, if you dig through there, you'll find a lot of rail spots and stuff like that. But I was actually lucky enough, and I was kind of looking for like where the old insular poles were along the rail line, and I kind of seen like not one of the stumps, but like kind of like a s small hill of where one might have been. So I was kind of curious. So I kind of dug through there and. Uh, as you can see, it's all in pieces, whatnot. You know, this ain't one whole. Like it's, you can see it's kind of glued together. Um, I used just like some basic Elmer's glue, and it's been holding it together pretty good. But um, I know that's bad. You shouldn't use Elmer's glue, but you know what? It's been holding it together, and it's been staying, so that's good. Um, yeah, I found out in Woodland Valley, and uh, lucky enough, I was able to find all these pieces uh, in the dirt there. And I was so excited because this is the first time I ever uh, found glass insulator uh, shards of any kind. And I didn't think that there would be any within Woodland Valley. Because I've checked all up and down the stream and along the tracks. And there's no insulator poles, no stumps. Maybe one far out on the edge of Woodland Valley. But there's nothing really around it. And I was just very lucky to find this. And when I did, I was really excited. Really. Um... There's two things about this. One, obviously it's only half an insulator there. It's only a half of it, but hey, half is better than none. Um, there's a little bit of a dent there, and I think that was like that. I don't know if you can see that. The light's in the way there. You can kind of see a dent right there, right in front of my finger. It's like a little bit of a dent there. I don't know, maybe you can't tell, but there is a dent there. I think that was like that, though, before this insulator cracked. Um, maybe it wasn't, but... I'm assuming it was still like that even before this insulator shattered. And I... As far as I know, there's no embossing on this thing except for the top of it. Um, anywhere else, if there wasn't any embossing on it, um, it would be on the bottom half, which I don't have. So, uh, like I said, the only embossing that's on it is the top of it. And as you can see... Can I pick it up there? It's like a three. I don't know if it's on, upside down or whatnot can't really see it too well. There it is somewhat. Hopefully you guys can see that. But there's a three on the top of this thing. So I'm assuming it's the third kind of these insulators. Or this is the third of this kind insulator made, I'm thinking. I don't know. But that's uh, that's the only thing that's on it. And yeah, like I said, if there was any other embossment on there, then it would be on the rest of this. And like I said, I don't have the rest of it. So uh, there's that one. I'm going to move on to the next one here. This one is a different style one. I don't know, as far as I know, this one here that I just showed you, this is called a beehive because the rest of it would be shaped down like this. And I guess that's called like a beehive shape. Um, so this is a beehive insulator. This one, I have no idea the name of this kind. I kn I've never had an insulator this weird uh, or this strange before. I'm not really used to seeing the ones that are around on the top. So I don't really know the name of this one. So if you guys know the name of this kind of glass insulator, let me know down in the comments below. Um, but this one I also found along the UND Railroad. Um, this was up in Mount Tremper. 
Um, if any of you live in Mount Trevor, New York, you know that there's the new information center put there um, by the day use area. And uh, across the road, there, there's a trail that leads to a little fishing parking lot. And off of that fishing parking lot, it's just like a little dirt gravel uh, parking lot. But um, off of that parking lot, there is a uh, trail that leads right to the water. And on the other side, there are tracks across the water. And that's the area that I found this at, along them tracks on the other side of the water there. Um, there are quite a few poles through that section of Mount Tramper and up towards Boyceville. There are some uh, insular poles there still intact with... You know, the cross arms and the, uh, the insulator holders, the screw pieces, whatnot, and, um, a lot of them don't have insulators on them. Two, I think one has two and a half insulators on them. Um, this one was not on there. As you can see, this one's in pieces as well. One, two, three, there's three pieces glued together with Zomer's glue, yes. And it seems to be working, so, you know. But, um, yeah, I found this one over there. Um, it was, it was kind of buried, and it was next to an insulator pole that it doesn't have the cross arm, but it was just the pole itself, and this was in the ground, right, literally right next to it, and, uh, I just, like, seen this glass piece sticking out of the dirt, and I seen that, I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's an insulator, so I started digging it out, and, uh, sure enough, I got, and I looked all around it, I couldn't find any more pieces but these three, so, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I got of this um but this is pretty much the whole thing i mean the rest of it's just like the top the side and the bottom so that's not really much so getting all this is a lot better than having nothing um so i think that's pretty cool like i said i don't know what kind of insulator or style type insulator this is but i do know it's a glass insulator i just don't know the type name for this kind of insulator so, uh, and embossing on this one, as far as I know, there's none besides the top here, like the other one. Um, it doesn't have a number, though. I don't know if you guys can see it. If not, I'll just read it off to you. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's not gonna pick it up. God damn it. You can't see it, but if you can kind of see somewhat, you can kind of make out some kind of lettering on the top right here. But I'll read off to you what it says. It says, Pat, P-A-T dot, which means patented, which just means when they made it, uh, January 25th, and it just says 18. I'm assuming the year 1918 or 18-something is when this was made, way back in the day. Um, I don't know, 18 of when. I'm assuming 1918 is when they made uh, this insulator. Um, that's the only thing I could think 18 would mean. But I, it definitely means uh, January 25th of 1918, I'm assuming, is when they made this insulator and it was new. So uh, that's kind of cool. And that's the only embossing it has on it. Besides that, I don't see any other kind of embossing. And those are the, the threads on the inside there. You can see them. Those are the threads. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. I just uh, found this one over in Mount Tremper. And uh, I, don't, I don't know, like I said, I don't know the name. So if you know the name of this kind of insulator here let me know down in the comments below all right we're gonna move on to the next one um these next two insulators um i did not find along the und rail line these were given to me well i got them from a guy because my uncle knew a guy who had a bunch of collection of glass insulators and he was nice enough the guy that my uncle knows he was nice enough to let me grab uh two of these insulators and keep them for myself uh, to have within my own collection, so, uh, big thanks to him, his name is Sasha, that's all I know, I don't really know, um, you know, his actual name, I think that's his actual name, um, I just, I think that's it, that's just, his name is Sasha, that's all I know, that's all I was told, but, uh, big thanks to him for letting me, uh, have these two insulators, because I, I really enjoy having these in my collection, and, um, they're really rare to find, and I've always wanted a full actual uh, insulator so uh, thanks to him so these next two here are from him so this one here is a green hemming ray um, that is if you look that up on Google that is one of the main companies that made glass insulators for back in the day um, this is a hemming ray number 40 it's probably gonna be backwards in the camera but it says number 40 it says no number 40 that means number 40 
and like I showed you in the front, it says Hemingway. Um, I don't know the name or style of this insulator, but I do know that it's got the drip points in the bottom. That's what these little studs around the bottom are called. I know those are called drip points. Um, it's got the threads all the way away in the top there. You can barely make them out, but there's threads up there. Um, and I know that there is because I have a little screw top piece. I put these on and um, they screw it right on there. So I know that there's threads for the inside. Um, and that's the only embossing that's on there is the Hemingway logo and the uh, number 40 in the back. I don't see any other kind of embossing on here. Um, you can see they made it like in two pieces because there's like a line here. And then here's like a line on the other side. So it must have been like two pieces and then melted it together. You know, melted the glass and then stuck it together and then you got like a full insulator. So I'm assuming that's how they make it. But um, there's no date on here um, of when they made it. Uh, one thing that is very cool, though, that I see on here are bubbles. You can actually see bubbles in the glass. No, I don't mean bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. I mean actual bubbles, like, you know, bubbles from soap. But this is actual bubbles in glass because of the air. So that those are air bubbles in uh, glass. And I've, uh, I've never really seen bubbles in glass before until now, so uh, there's a bubble there, but... I thought that was really cool to see bubbles and glass, and they're kind of like sitting still, so I thought that was kind of cool. So that's pretty much it for this one, and uh, I'll show you the other one, and that'll be it. This last one here, like I said, is from that guy, Sasha. Um, this one is a lighter color, as you can tell. This one, I believe, I was told this is like an emerald green, I believe, color. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below what the actual color of this insulator is, but I'm pretty sure it's like an emerald green. And this one is like a... I'm going to say like a whitish green, because it's kind of like a white color, but it's also like green at the same time, so I don't know what the actual color for this one is. Um, the only embossing on it is around the bottom of the rim, so on this side, it says, I'll just show it to you and I'll read it off. All those lettering there, I don't know if you can make it out on camera or not, but it says, Whittle, W-H-I-T-A-L-L, Tatum Company, number one. So this was made by, I'm not sure if it's Whitetail or Whittle, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Whittle. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. Um, Whittle Tatum Company, so that's the company that made the insulator. And it's number one, so I'm assuming either this is the number one brand of insulator, or this is the first insulator of that company made. I'm not sure. Um, then on the back, and this is a really proud thing to see. On the back here, I don't know if you can make that out, but it says... Made in USA, which is really cool, and a lot of things nowadays you guys know are made in China and not the U.S., so it's really cool and really proud to see that this thing's made in the USA. Uh, I really hope you guys can see that. You probably can't, but I, I assure you it does say made in the USA on there. And I just realized there's a little number two there on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. I don't know. There's a little two underneath there. Um, I don't know what that stands for. Maybe that means this is a second insulator. I have no idea. But, um, it's, like I said, it's like a clear greenish color. Um, I don't know the name of this style insulator either. I just know it's glass insulator. Um, there's the threads on the inside. You can see the threads. And, uh, that's how a lot of the insulators back then screwed on. They had a metal, uh, hook thing that went through a piece of wood. And then, as far as I know, they would have a piece of wood, kind of like a cork kind of wood. And they'd screw that onto the metal uh, screw top. And then that wood is what they would screw the insulator onto. And then that's what would, you know, keep it a tight fit. And that's what would hold the insulators on the poles. As far as I know. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, like I said, it's just like that clear greenish color. This one's my favorite and so is the other one. Mainly because they're my only two full insulators. Um... Let me know down in the comments also below if you want me to do a video on my mud insulators, a.k.a. the uh, ceramic insulators. If you want to see those, let me know down in the comments below. Um, but besides that, this is pretty much it. This is my insulator collection right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's just uh, just these four right here. Just, uh, just these four. So uh, there's the green emerald one that I showed you. There's the small one. Uh, right uh, right here, 
I showed you before that I got from the UND. I got this one from the UND as well. Um, but this was in Mount Tremper. This one was in Woodland Valley. And this one I got from the guy Sasha. And I got this one from Sasha as well. So, uh, that's pretty much my whole glass insulator collection. I hope you fellers liked this, uh, video. Uh, if you did, let me know by leaving a like down below. So, don't forget to like the video. Uh, subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray. Uh, click that bell for notifications so it'll let you know when I'm putting out another video in the future. And uh, that's pretty much it. So with that, I'll see y'all fellers later. Later, fellers. See ya.